Oh. This all failed, all failed. How about that? All failed, all failed, all failed. Oh. Okay? Now, next one. Is the second one only one is not filled? Is the second one? Yeah, only one is not filled in the second. Okay? And finally we have. Okay, there we go. Mm. Okay. Answer. What's the next one? Who's got oh, it? I know. Someone, oh, I someone draw it up there for me. Show me. Show me. She's gonna show me. I don't want a harder one. <coughs> Is that the right answer? Yeah! Really? Yeah! What's the pattern? It keeps you tell me the pattern. All is filled. Then one is not filled. Then two is not filled. Then the, uh, then all of it is not filled. Now, real quick, if this was the OSA test, would that be building thinking skills? Mm. Uh, math and allergy? No. Nah. Nah. Logic? No. Nah. Nah. Or mathematical reasoning? Mathematical nah. reasoning. That seems like mathematical reasoning, right? Yeah. You're reasoning about it. You're reasoning. What does it mean to reason? To think, about it. It. to think about it or you possibly have to explain it. How? Now, I think that we did every single question that there is to do, all right? I now, we did it all. I broke it out. So, really quick, I just want to show you I something. Broke it out. I'll show you the books. Remember, we've been working with this book all the time we've been here. We did part one, part two, part three, part four. Now, just refresh my memory because I forgot. How many questions are on the test? 72. 72. How much time do you supposed to have? 40. 40 minutes. How many seconds per question? 38! Okay, and now on the day of the test, are we going to wait till the last minute to get up and go to the test late? No! no. no. So the night before, what are we going to do? Prepare! And what are we going to make sure that we bring to the test? Have Very good. And when we get, when we leave our house, we're going to make sure that we dress warmly. Very good. Okay, and that's what you got to do. And like I said, don't spend too much time on any one question. And remember the lesson we had. Although some people have already taken the test and they said that it was pretty easy, he's right. Your teacher said that the test can change. The test, it all depends on who's sitting in front of the test. For her, it may be really easy, but for you, it might be a little difficult. So the idea is when we walk in there, we want to walk in there prepared for anything. Yeah, what's up? I'm here for, I thought uh, like all of us. Kids have a different test for them, and my friend said that all of them have the same test. Yeah, well, I think it depends on the classroom that you might be sitting in. Now, remember, there are two sessions for the test. Okay, you got the morning test and you got the afternoon test. Uh, if the morning test begins, you want it starts about 9 a.m. Okay, so you want to get there early. You don't want to get there late. Uh, about 8 o'clock. Yeah, so the idea is. Yeah, about 8.30. So if it's at 9 a.m., you want to be at 8.30 because the line is going to be really long and you want to get there and get yourself comfortable. Uh, if the second, yeah, and if the second test is at 11.45, about what time do you want to get there? 10.30. 10.30 is good, maybe 10.45, but you want to get there early. Okay, because you don't want to be rushing there with your admission ticket and your mom and your dad. So make sure you get there early. About one hour early. About one hour early. Now, oh. while you're standing on the line, let's say you get a little hungry. What should you bring with yourself? <laughs> like a little snack, okay? Just in case. But main things are pencils and the admission ticket. And we're going to go there and we're going to do the best we can. Yeah. What if you need glasses? Do you bring that too? Without a doubt. Yeah, you got to bring your oh, glasses. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, what do you got? Um, do you bring a pencil case? Or you, you just bring pencils? Like, well... I think for the test, I think less is more, so I think you should just bring your pencils. Bring your pencil case there, and before you walk in, give your pencil case to your mom and dad. But, uh, I, less is more. So you just bring a light jacket, uh, you go in there, and you take the test. What's up? So do you need to go to the bathroom? Like, did you just find it? Yeah. Now look, if you gotta use the bathroom and it's an emergency, the people that are given the test, they're gonna let you go to the bathroom. But the idea is the more time you spend away from the test, the less time you have to finish the test. Now we're talking about we're talking about having a good breakfast, but a light breakfast. You don't want to eat too much and you don't want to eat too little. Because that day, believe it or not, you're gonna be a little nervous, alright? If you gotta use the bathroom, make sure you try to go to the bathroom before you leave the house. But if you really must use the bathroom, try to go before the test starts. I have never okay? been nervous, that's all. Alright? Anybody got any other questions? Anything? No, no concerns? No. It's See, just having nerves. See, so, so you guys ready to take the test? Yeah. Why do you get who? so nervous that you get a stomach and then you have to go to the bathroom? Well, that's, that's, that's what we want to try to avoid. Now, you're going to be nervous that day, but you got to make sure you got to remember your training and your skills. How do you guys feel about it? You think you're ready? No. no. Well, most people, most people, most people when they take the test, 
Before they take the test, they always say, I don't think I'm ready. Then after they take the test, they say what? Oh, that test was just so easy. You know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what was going on. Yeah. What if you're nervous? And is there any nervous pills? No. It's not. <laughs> Unfortunately, the only thing that helps you to deal with your nerves is to practice. And I think you guys have done a lot of practice. I shouldn't do that. You'll be fine.